what's up? This probably looks better and probably the most professional I've ever looked on my channel in a while. Um, thanks to Joanna, she's helping me film this. Um, I've also bought a light and we're in our new apartment that we moved into a couple of months ago. I definitely had something else planned for a talking head video on YouTube, but this is definitely a different kind of one. It's, it's a little bit of a sad one, but um, I'm saying goodbye to something that's helped me grow, helped me create a lot of things, especially some of the best things that I've ever shot in my life, whether it's been content, workout content, whether it's been projects at school, whether it's been some of the freelance work that I've shot in Ottawa or in India back uh, before I moved to Ottawa. It's uh, this bad guy. I'm finally um, getting rid of my Blackmagic Cinema 6K Pro camera. I've used this on pretty much all of the projects that I've shot over the last two years. I've used this on projects in India, workout content, different kinds of freelance projects that I had. I shot with this in college, even though we had access to FX3s and um, FX9s for at least for myself. Yeah, like I use this on pretty much every project possible. I used this to shoot Howl, which was my first ever sports documentary that I shot with the basketball team. I also used this on a couple of freelance projects that I've shot since I've graduated. I definitely didn't want to say goodbye to this because I'm going to be trading this in uh, at some point at work because I'm uh, getting a new camera and my parents and Joanna are like helping uh, me get that camera as well. So it's, um, yeah, I'm super thankful. <laughs> She's smiling behind the camera and my parents obviously think that's the right choice as well and they've helped me out with pretty much everything I've uh, ever done in my life. It's time, I feel like, to move on to something a little bit better and I feel like going to the place in my life where I'm hoping to get into a little bit more of sports uh, side of things and shooting a lot more uh, corporate videos, documentary style of things, um, I feel like the upgrade's much needed because the new camera has an autofocus and although I got really good at pulling focus, at least that's what I think. I just wanted to make the short little video and uh, yeah, just kind of say goodbye, even though I didn't want to sell this, um, but I'm kind of saying goodbye to this, at least for a little while. I love Blackmagic from their softwares, DaVinci Resolve um, to their hardware. I've, I've loved the company. I love what they do. Um, something, something's changed in my mind of like how I process things and how I do and shoot things. And what I'm getting now is much more aligned to what I kind of want to do going forward. And I feel like it's going to be a much, much better choice. And uh, from everything I've heard so far and from everything uh, that I've been recommended, I feel like I'm making the right choice, but um, it doesn't feel right saying goodbye to this because um, Going back to my time in India when I had just moved to India after graduating from uh, photography in Niagara, uh, this was something that I saved up for and this is something that I spent a lot of money on getting the cage, getting the battery grip and obviously I had the lenses from my 1DX Mark II. This has served its purpose from the 6K RAW that it shoots and the internal ND filters to the touchscreen, the incredible easiest menu system that I've ever worked with to false colors, everything that's built into this camera system. I've loved this, um, so it feels wrong saying goodbye to this, but at the same time, um, uh, I think it's the right decision that I'm making and uh, we'll see. <laughs> this would be a great option for someone who's just wanting to start out, uh, but I think I've grown with this camera and um, yeah, I'm super, super proud of the journey I've been on with this camera, um, but yeah, it's time to move on to a uh, something better, something a little bit more expensive as well. Um, and I'm sure it's just gonna be fine. So, yeah. Joanna hates being on camera, especially when she's talking for some reason. I don't know why. Why is that? I work behind the scenes, not in front. But yeah, it's it's super funny because um, I've been sharing so many moments with her, um, and like pretty much everything I do, she has such a such a big part in it. Um, like. It's, it's a funny story, but it's her birthday. So if you're seeing this today, or like whenever you see it, wish her a happy birthday, okay? Happy birthday! Joanna! I was just telling her how much um, she's helped me with everything that I've done and every small thing that I've achieved uh, in the two years, almost two years that I've been in Ottawa. Um, it's, it's, it's been a difficult, difficult journey, obviously, coming to a new country and everything. Um, but without getting into a whole different story, I just wanted her to like talk a lot about how this has helped both of us out and how it's helped some of her shoots out. Yeah. What's what's been your experience like with 
seeing this and uh, seeing how I've used this so far. It was a really good camera uh, before, so before work had the FX30. Yeah. And we used this for a couple of shoots. Yeah. There was a guy who was editing one of the shows. He was like, oh yeah, the interview looked really good. <laughs> and it's because we shot it on this. Yeah. Or at least I think one of the camera angles yeah, was one this. Of the Interviews he edited was yeah. with this. And um, I always used to keep a, a spare little cloth behind the screen here. <laughs> something I something I learned from someone.